don't like that. Christ. You must be Sam Fisher. I'm Anna Brin's daughter. Pleased to meet you. Third echelon lead programmer. You've done your homework. As you know, the CIA lost contact with two agents, William Blaustein and Alice Madison. Madison was a mole inside Georgia President Combein Nikoladze's cabinet. Nikoladze was a wealthy industrialist before he transitioned to politics. Once he took over in Georgia, he opened up the country to the West, fostering an economic climate that promoted technology development. Are we working with the CIA's cooperation? Blaustein is outfitted with subdermals just like yours. That'll be your best lead to find him. You didn't answer my question. We'll tell you what you need to know. You're not out there alone, Fisher. Through me, you're attached to a dozen of the best NSA minds we have. There are political complexities with Georgia you'd need a week to understand. I've just about memorized the speech language. Well, start believing it. This is Third Echelon's maiden voyage, and we need it to go smooth as butter. You're about to touch down in Georgia. Get ready. Hey guys, how's everybody doing? So, this is the first real mission of Splinter Cell 1, uh, the police station in Georgia. Fisher, the sun's down. Time to go to work. Finding Agent Blaustein's our first priority. We can locate him through a local NSA contact. I'm on my way. And stay off the streets. There's a heavy cop presence in this town. We don't have Washington's backing if this turns into an incident. Details on your offset. Yeah, so whenever you hear that piano noise, that dog, that's uh, people spotting you, but they don't know exactly where you are. They just might have seen a shadow. And in that particular situation, we don't have a choice. They have to see us. So, well, I mean, he didn't have to. I could have waited a couple seconds longer and he didn't have to see me, but I don't really care because... Don't tell me. Gergenin's day is inside there. My cover's Why still would I tell you what you already know? You're gonna have to hurry. Grim's daughter's comparing a Dark Star drone sonar to the warehouse blueprints. She'll be guiding you through. Anything I need here, like a health pack? I don't remember. It's been years since I played this. Oh man, it's such a cool game though. Uh, yeah, through this door, I think. I think. I don't remember. Shit. Yeah. This level's pretty straightforward, actually. This is one of the easiest missions of the game. And, you know. Holy smoke! Sam, we gotta hurry up. Um. What was I gonna say now? Yeah, one of the easiest missions of the game. Jesus, but that was close. Take a left just ahead and cut through the room. You'll find a stairwell on the opposite corner. Take it to the top floor. Thanks, Grim. It's all good. Good old Grim. She's been around for a while. She's in this game, the two after it. Uh, not in Double Agent. As far as I know. Pretty sure she's not. And But she's back in uh, the fifth and sixth games. So, that's cute. The contact is in this room. Let's get to the Oh, no. A table fell on his leg. Oh, he's a gunner. You're good news, eh? Yeah. I'm in this I'm going to get you out of here. Don't bother. I'm as good as dead. You're looking for Blaustein and Madison. Yeah. Madison was deep into Nicolata's cabinet. She was onto something big. Blaustein must have figured it out. How do I find him? Blaustein's black box, the tracking relay for his subdermals. It's stashed in his safe house just east of Moravia Square. Lambert, do we have resources to evac this guy? 
I said don't bother. Whatever medicine found, it's big. She kept saying proof would mean war. I think Nicolas wanted... Kerganidze checked out. Leave the corpse for the fire. It'll be less to explain to his family. You've got a safe exit <laughs> on the west side of the room. Take it. Nice guy. Yeah, just, you know, he's, he's expendable. Just There's too much there. smoke. Shoot out the skylights. Way ahead of you. That was a bit slow there, Grim. Alright, so that was the safe point. That was pretty tight. You still breathing? Doing my best. Good. Blaustein's black box is your next objective. He's running standard agency tradecraft. You'll find the box behind a fake bookshelf or wall panel. Gulcha. No worries. I got this. Because I'm Sam Fisher and I'm a boss. Uh. Yeah. So, one thing about the Splinter Cell series that kind of irks me a little bit. Gringo on. Oh, because shit. those are my orders. I speak to Vyacheslav Grinko or nobody. As Grinko, hey, sir, this is Ketema. We finished searching the Americans' apartment. There is nothing else there. If five more bugs, two cameras, and some electronics we can't ID. They are already on their way to the ministry. Of course. Thank you, sir. Yeah, what I was saying before I was rudely interrupted was, uh... Um... One of the things that irks me about this series is it's not too intertwined with itself. Storyline-wise, you know. I think Nicolaz is mentioned briefly in the next game, and that's about it. And... Uh, one of the characters in this game is mentioned in Chaos Theory, and that's about it for that as well. You're a bitch. Uh, but yeah, other than that, the storyline really doesn't follow itself, so it kind of sucks. Ah, ah, let's, let's get out of here. Until we get to Double Agent. As soon as Double Agent hits, conviction is. Uh, pretty close follow-up to Double Agent, and then Blacklist also follows up with Conviction pretty close. So, come on. Just move. Oh, you're out. Oh, ho, ho. Ah, grab it. Yeah. A lot of the time, I just go through these levels without hitting anybody or trying to, or, you know, without killing anybody or knocking them out. It's, it's pretty hard to do that, but... I'm gonna knock people out this time, because when I did that last time, I, it took me extra long to complete each mission just because I didn't want to get spotted, so I was sitting waiting for like 10 minutes every time I was near somebody. And it, uh, I don't want to do that for the Let's Play, because that's just... that'll make the videos way too long. Hmm. A suspicious painting. Let's move it. I knew it. Dang! What's the news? Blaustein's heart stopped beating 43 hours ago. Any reason the CIA wouldn't know about this? Nope. Nicer than the share. The subdermal went offline six hours after he died. The last active position was in a police station a few blocks away. Check your ops at. Damn, it takes Sam forever to punch in a freaking code on the door. It's like, zero, uh, nine, uh, run. That's brutal, man. He can, like, take out military dudes and hide in the shadows right in front of people and not be seen, but he can't punch a freaking code in the keypad door thing. Alright, so, ah, this part always kills me. Okay. I think we're all right. Ha <laughs> ha. Good to go. Yeah, pretty simple mission. Fisher, I'm rescinding my street-level restriction. We've been monitoring the Tbilisi police radio. These cops are as crooked as a Virginia fence. They're not going to want any more international attention than we do. Every road is open to you. Do what you got to do to find those missing spooks. As crooked as a Virginia fence. Lambert, that's racist. Alright. Come on, lock 
picks. <laughs> Playing Hitman and Splinter Cell back to back, man, it's it's actually kind of ridiculous how similar the games are. The real estate is closer to your rent in the morgue. Slabs are going for cheap. Yeah, I think we could set you up with this slab real easy. I've done nothing. Please. Nothing? How about drunk and disorderly? Assaulting a police officer? Slandering the badge? You said we associated with criminals. Ah, uh, then arrest me. I'm asleep. You guys are douchebags. Just, just douche, douchebags, you know? You guys are all douchebags. Oh, uh, oh, uh, no. Take this. Oh, come on. Alright, bitch. Well, fuck this. You're dead. Yeah, I know. Fail hardcore. Don't care. This is just mission one. I'm actually gonna try and be more stealthy in the next in the later missions, but for now, screw it. Yeah, you have to hide the bodies. Make sure that they're in the the last bar of the uh, of the bright meter. Whoops, that's the. How do I reload again? Uh, I think L2. Yeah. Okay. There we go. Hey man. It looks like you need a rest. There you go. And since I knocked him out, I have to carry his body over here too. Otherwise, it'll be. I'll lose a freaking uh, alert level, and gosh darn it, I just realized that after I knocked him out. Oh well. Now they'll all wake up together, and uh, they'll be right back at square one, and he'll be getting shit talked by the cops again, and then probably be arrested after that. So I really did nothing by knocking out one of those cops. Oh, but I did kill one of them, so I guess that kind of helps him out. Hmm. No dude over here? I thought there was a guy that comes walking out. Wasn't there a guy that comes walking out? Hmm. Nope. I'm wrong. Red computers. Red means uh, objective. No, I already I did that already. Jeez, Louise. All right, so medical thing and pistol ammo. Sweet, we need that because we suck at shooting. All right, another medical kit. Oh wow! All these years playing this game, I didn't know that was there. Wow, um, it's really intelligence. Okay. So, does the guy come out now? Yes, now he comes in. Ah, so yeah, I do know a little bit of things. And stuff. Ah, he had his back to me that whole time. Shoot. No, go away. This is the only Splinter Cell game that you can't whistle in draw their attention towards you. The only one. Kinda sucks. Come here. Yeah. You in trouble. Alright. And checkpoint. Oh my god! Really? Ah. Oh. Yes, go to sleep. Okay. I think there's a couple of guards around her, around the corner. Something like that. Oh, there's one. I just saw one. We should shoot out the lights, but I'm too lazy for that. And I don't think you can shoot them out anyway, so whatever. Oh, fudge. Crap. Darn it. <sighs> Shoot. No. There's nothing over here. Just ignore that person that you can clearly see off to the corner over there. Yeah. 
Sam is so strong that when he elbows the air, it knocks someone out right in front of him. It's pretty cool. It's probably not. What was that noise? Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's probably nothing. <laughs> See, that's how you do it. Best thing is to not have to take everybody out. It's just so much. It's actually easier. It just takes longer most of the time. And this part's gay. Oh, first try. Booyah! Gosh darn it, so many save points. Holy smoke. I think we're, yeah, we're almost near the end of the mission already. Holy crap. That was quick. Oh, uh, this part. Ah, uh, we're maybe not, we're not as close as I thought. I mean, there's a couple things left to do. Not good. You're not good. What are you gonna do about it? Yeah. Take this. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's take out. Uh, lights are not your friend in this game. Ah, and this gun sucks at aiming. Come on. Oh, fuck this. Oh, come on. Really? Holy crap. How ridiculous is that? Is that a light? That's, that's a light. How come I can't shoot it? Either that or my gun's just being a douche again. There we go. My gun was just being a douche. Ah, she's gonna come check it out too. Ah, come at me, bro. Come on now. What are you doing? Yeah. <laughs> so ridiculous. What was that? Something just smacked me in the face. What was it? Oh, it's the thing that's right next to me. A human. I think there's something in here. Yes, a computer. I do need this. Gives me a data stick. Yeah. More lights to shoot. Okay, one sec. I'm gonna shoot him. Nice. One shot that time. Jeez. Thank goodness. Uh, anything in here? Nothing. Okay. Fine. Alright, so I did that on purpose. Did that happen? Yeah, there you go. Just makes it quicker for him to come out. And you need to interrogate this guy. Because he's, uh... How did that happen? You already asked that. God, stupid. He's an important person. VIP. <laughs> yeah. That was easy. One false move and you're dead. I need information. Um, okay. I'm looking for two Americans. Probably dead. I... Gringo will kill me. Duh! Where are they? Nearby. The morgue. They're dead. I helped the mortician find the microchips under their scalps. The subdermals. Yeah. Please don't hurt me. Please don't hurt me. That's all I know. No, I swear that's... Shut up. Your whining irritates me. Alright, so you can hear a camera. So we gotta shoot these lights at. Unless we just shoot the camera out, which is right above us. No idea. No idea. Hmm. Where is it? Doesn't really matter. If we shoot the lights out, it's all good. Oh, come on. Holy crap. Didn't even aim for it that time when I got it. This gun sucks. Oh, yeah, it's in the morgue. Right, 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 right. So, shoot out that light, and then that light there. Yeah, just kind of just keep shooting until you get it. That's the only thing you can do. It's so brutal. Okay. Poor guys. I've got Agents Blaustein and Madison. Rest in peace. 
Somebody cut out their subdermals. Where do we go from here? We follow the subdermals if we can. <clears throat> There's a security camera here. Good thinking. We'll track the subdermals from the video archives. The station surveillance room is on the top floor. All right, so next save point. All right. We're almost done the game, or not the game, but the, uh, the mission. I think this is the last part. Oh, and this conversation that's about to take place. This is freaking awesome. It's hilarious. Hey, big guy. Just, just don't mind. I'd like to talk to your superior. Perhaps I can help you, sir. By fetching your superior. I'm all there is. How can I help you? I'd like to register a complaint. Then you'll have to ask at the desk to your right. Very well. May I help you? You're the same cop. Yes, but this is the public relations desk. Fine. I would like to register a complaint. Of course. Isn't that area of limit? Shoot! Oh, oh well, it's a funny conversation. He's like, of course, sir. If you could just have a seat until someone is ready to help you. He's like, you gotta be kidding me. And then he's like, I could have you arrested. It's friggin' awesome. It's like, if cops were like that in real life, which a lot of them are, no offense to cops, because I'm, I'm not a cop hater at all. I'm actually trying to... I'm working my way up to be one right now. I'm just... Took me freaking forever to decide what the hell I want to do, and that's what I want to do. But, uh. Yeah, I mean. It's true. Cops sometimes sometimes can be dicks. So. But that's just a whole other level right there, what, what, the, what was going on with those two. That was funny as hell. So I got a data stick. Now we need to leave these guys alone. Don't get spotted by them. Just keep on with your stealthiness. And I do believe there's a computer in this room. And I'm correct. Now we need to take this guy out. Because he's in our way. You're a jerk. You're in our way. You're a jerk. Okay, sweet. We're almost done. Great work, Fisher. We're scanning the videotapes now. There. That's our guy. We got him red-handed. Can you run his face through Echelon? Already on it. Hey, check it out. A license plate. 84KP214. Fantastic. Fisher, we got what we need. Rendezvous with Wilkes. Your work here is done. We'll get back to you once we've sifted this intel. Damn right, my work's done. I'm gonna go get drunk. All right. Get out this door, it's gonna sneak again, because these guys are gonna hear us if we don't sneak. Ah, not that slow. Yeah, you gotta be real quiet, because you, know, you can't even take them out either, to make it easier. Because one will spot you taking the other out, and then you gotta... You could shoot them, because there's only these two cops up here, and then there's one downstairs. But I mean, eh, I'd rather just be stealthy. And, uh, so we need to go out this door over her. And that's it. We teleported outside, and our rides arrived. Let's go get drunk. Mission complete. That's what it says there.